notice, first of all, and this is the thing I would point out to the students, is, okay, watch the difference. You're talking, and it's, now it hits. You know, there's a dramatic difference between the two and the ball, right? Uh, in a moment, I'm going to turn the air pump on, and of course, we're not going to be able to create a perfect vacuum. But what we should see, at least, is once we've made it a vacuum, that they're falling at least much closer to the same acceleration. Rate. And this question comes up a lot for students. You know, I've had students in even pre-EP physics say, I've been seeing this question about which object would fall first since, like, fifth grade, and I still don't understand why it says they fall at the same time, or I'm not sure about the explanation. Um, and it gives them good insight into what we mean when we say a vacuum as well. Again, it's not perfect, but it just gives mm -hmm. them a better outlook. Um, FYI, the one that we bought is a, a valve that looks something like this. It looks a lot like the gas jet valves. So it works, like right now it's not actually airtight. When I hook it up to the vacuum pump, it, it pulls the seals down and actually makes it more airtight than it used to be. Um, and the way this works, so, and, and I always made this mistake when I was a student, is when it's to the side, either direction it turns it off and it's open when you point it along the direction of the valve, just like the gas jets over here. Um, so I'm just going to hook it on the end here. Because this one I can seal when it's done. So this one's only so powerful when I turn it on anyway. So I can actually see the pressure like dropping over here. It's doing it in millimeters of mercury. So I'm just going to give it a couple minutes, or not minutes, but seconds here until I can get as close to the vacuum as I think it's going to be able to get. And so in theory now, we've taken a lot of the air pressure out, so when I flip it over, they fall much closer to the same rate. Definitely not as slow as it was before. No, not perfect. They even hit each other on the way down. There's friction on the sides. One of the things I read about that makes it worse is really dry days. There'll be an electrostatic charge that actually builds up on, let's say, the feather as it slides down the side, which ruins the whole thing. So, I mean, I don't know. They, they gave options on ways to fix that, but it was intense. It was like open the thing up and rub it down with certain, like, anti-electrostatic whatever. But they fall much closer, you don't see the feather yeah. doing this thing. It gives them a good idea for before and after. So like when Sean was showing you before how much longer it took, um, it, it still gives you, the kids a pretty good idea. Um, and if they still don't believe you of what's going on in here, what's nice is when you undo it, you actually see the feather shoot up because of the air pressure and then slowly fall back down again, which is kind of cool.